Hi guys, Dan from KPS Digital Marketing here. Today I'm going to show you a really great tutorial and I'm going to show you how to set up a tool called IFTTT and what it's going to do is it's going to automatically post highly relative content to your social media that we know is going to provide value for our audience and it's going to save you a lot of time. But let me just show you what I'm actually talking about on the screen first so you know what this tutorial is going to teach you. So. On here is my Twitter profile and if we scroll down we can see that an hour ago I posted um, an article here which is to do with social media growth and Pinterest and it's from Social Media Examiner which is um, which is a website which sends out really really great social media content and I know this is very relative to me I really trust this website so what I'm gonna do well what I've done is I've set up an automatic way of posting the content that the website sends out to my Twitter profile so let me just show you what I mean this this tweet here was automatically posted from this website which I trust and is a great website because their latest post is here. That's the post that they've recently sent out and the clever tool that we, we're going to set up today knows that this has been posted and automatically sends it to my Twitter account. And this is the tool here which we're going to set up, IFTTT. So at the top here, you've got something called a recipe which I'm going to show you how to create in a second. And what it's saying is whenever a certain website website updates its RSS feed with a piece of content it will automatically post it to my Twitter so I've set it up with the social media examiner website when they post something a new piece of content a new blog a new tutorial it automatically gets sent to my Twitter so let me show you how to set this up because this is gonna save you so much time and it saved me so much time and it ensures that you're only posting really, really great, high quality content out there that your audience find valuable. So what you first of all need to do is you need to think of a website which you trust and um, you'd be happy to share their content with your audience. So think of a website which maybe sends out industry news, industry insights, um, you know, tips and tutorials. There's going to be a website out there within your industry that posts great content and is very trusted. So within my industry, it's Social Media Examiner. I know this website posts really great content and the way you can test whether this will be good for you is to look at their last 10 posts, look at the last 10 posts that they've done and then, um, and then see if you'd actually like to share them. Are they the kinds of posts that your audience would find valuable? If the answer is yes, then it is definitely the kind of website that you should be using. So what we're going to do now, once you've found your website, you need to find its RSS feed. And usually it's just the website followed by feed. And that is the RSS feed. If it doesn't come up with a feed, type into Google the name of the website and then feed after it and it should show you the website, uh, the, the website including the feed. So this is the feed here. This is the feed for Social Media Examiner. So I'm going to copy this. Now I've got that, I'm going to go to the website IFTTT. And you'll need to sign up. It's really simple to follow the instructions. Just sign up with your Twitter account or your email. And then you need to go to My Recipes. From here, you need to click Create a Recipe. Then click on the This. And then type in RSS. Click on that and then click on new feed from item. Now this is where we need to paste the feed that we've just copied. So this is the feed, as I said, for Social Media Examiner. I've pasted that in there, and then click create trigger. And then the right hand side, click that. This is where we create what we want to happen once the trigger has happened. Now you can choose a number of things here. So what, we, what we're gonna show now is Twitter because I'm showing you how to send a post that Social Media Examiner has updated automatically to Twitter as I showed you earlier. So this is what I want to happen once Social Media Examiner has sent out a new post on their website. Now we need to click post a tweet. Now this box here, this is what the tweet will look like when it sends out. 
So the information is coming from Social Media Examiner to the tool. We know that they're posting a new, uh, they posted a new piece of content, and this is what we want the tweet to look like. So this is telling the the tool here that we want first of all the title of the new post and the piece of content to show, and then we want the URL, so the 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 web link to that post. And I'm also going to add in here a couple of hashtags because I like to include hashtags. It helps increase the reach of your tweets. So I'm going to include social media marketing. That's quite a long one, so I'm going to include that social media marketing because it's very relative to the the post that I'm drawing in to send to my Twitter account. And you can add various different things into this tweet. You can add the author, um, the URL, when it was published, all these different things, but I like to just stick to the title, the URL link, and then a hashtag or two hashtags. Then create action. So now we've got a title here, you can add a title, I'm going to keep it as this. So it's telling us that when there's a new feed from Social Media Examiner, when they've created a new piece of content on their website, then it's going to post a tweet to my Twitter account. Now you'll need to link your Twitter account, but it's very simple to follow. Just click on the, the twi Twitter icon and it will, um, it will take you through the process to link it for you. Now we're going to create recipe. Now, recipe created. This is, that's it. It's literally all set up now. What we can do is check now, click check now, and the recipe's checked. So it should all be working perfectly. So what you need to do to check if this is working is view your Twitter account over the next few hours or next few days to see if it's posting the content from the website you've decided to choose to use. So if we go back to Social Media Examiner here, I can see that I set this up a while ago. Their latest post is social growth, how to use Pinterest, etc. That's their latest post. I can go back to my Twitter account and see, has it posted that post? Yes, it has. An hour ago, it posted that automatically to my social media, to my Twitter account. So it's working. Now, let me just show you one more thing you can do with this, which will take, won't take very long. If you don't want to post directly to your Twitter account or your Facebook account, you can do this with Facebook too, then you can actually send it to Buffer, which is an automatic scheduling tool. Now, I've got a tutorial to show you how to use that, which I'll link in this blog. But... This is going to show you how to send the the post which we set up to Buffer instead of directly to your Twitter account. Because if you want to manage risk and you, you may think, oh, then they might post something which I don't want to share, you can get it to send to Buffer and then you can check it on a daily basis to see what's in your Buffer to automatically be sent out. So we're going to follow the same steps. Create recipe. I'm just going to do this quickly now because it's following the same steps. RSS, new feed from item paste the RSS, and then in this, this is where it's different. Instead of choosing Twitter, we can choose Buffer. Now, add to Buffer, and again, we can choose what we want the tweet to look like, and what this is going to do is send the piece of content that's come from the RSS feed to the Buffer account. There we go, create recipe, and now that's all set up, and these pieces of content will be going to our RSS feed. And that's it, that's a tutorial. If you have found this useful, please do share it with your network, share the, the blog with your social media audience, and also please do leave me a comment below. What have you thought of this strategy? Have you tried using it? I'd love to hear your thoughts, your ideas in the comments below. Thanks a lot, have a great day.